Hey, welcome back to another video. It's great to see you here. I hope your day is going well today. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make your footage look a little more cinematic by adding the black bars to the top and bottom of your video. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do it. So let's jump into the video. All right, we're about to jump into DaVinci Resolve. And before we do, I wanted to talk about aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio that I'm looking to achieve by adding these black bars on the top and bottom of my footage is 21 by nine. So 21 by nine is your typical ratio for movies and uh, real widescreen footage. So if you're looking to make your entire video that widescreen look, you're gonna wanna use a timeline that's 21 by nine. In my case, I generally use a 16 by nine timeline and that's just how I film my videos and that's what works best on YouTube. So I'm gonna show you how to add in those black bars a few different ways to give your footage a little bit more of a cinematic look. So uh, let's jump over into Resolve and I'll show you how to add those black bars a few different ways. We're here in DaVinci Resolve and I've already gone ahead and put a few clips together in my timeline as well as added some music and an adjustment layer on top for some color grading. Make sure you keep watching the video because I got some freebies I'm gonna talk about that uh, I want you to have that's gonna help you add these black bars to your video super easy. So the first way to add those black bars to your video is if you wanna add it to the entire timeline. So in order to do that, you can come up to timeline at the top, come down to output blanking, and you've got all different ratio options here. So if you want that cinematic movie look, the 21 to nine aspect ratio, you're gonna to wanna to select the 2.39. When I select that, you see it's added the black bars in here, and I'll play through and we can just watch our little video clip here with these black bars. So there's one way you can do it. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. I'm gonna go to output blanking and reset to reset it. The next way that you can do it is using an adjustment clip. So I've got an adjustment clip with my color grades already on it for all these clips. So if you click on your adjustment clip, then come over to your inspector, you can actually use the cropping feature to crop down as much as you would like. So let's make this a little bigger. You can crop in from the top and you can crop in from the bottom and do whatever ratio you think looks good. So the third way that you can add black bars to your footage is to put a PNG file on top of all your footage. And that PNG file is gonna have the black bars in it. So I've already gone ahead and created two files. I created a file for 4K footage, as well as a file for 1080 footage. And I'm gonna give those to you guys as freebies. So check the description of this video below, and that's gonna give you a link to go download those files. So I'm gonna come over to my media pool, close my inspector, I've got the file right here, and all you have to do is drag it down into your timeline and put it in a track above all your video clips. So if I turn on the PNG file here, we can see I've got the black bars on there. It's in that 21 to nine aspect ratio, which is what I want. And uh, you can just drag it out, make it as long as you want, stretch it out over my entire clips. And then we've got the black bars in there. So this method of using PNG files is really good if you have a video where you want some parts of your video to not have the black bars. Maybe you're talking, maybe it's a vlog or something like that. And then you get to a little cinematic sequence and you wanna throw those black bars on there. If you're using a 16 by nine timeline, this is gonna be the best way to do that. So go grab those files in the description link below and uh, hopefully you can use them and hopefully they work good on your video clips. Hey, who doesn't like freebies, right? Make sure you check out the link for the freebies. If you're into DaVinci Resolve, photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for checking out this video and I will see you in the next video. Peace.